Hello all you Excel lovers, my name is David and I'm from Excel Consulting and in this video I'm going to show you a trick that most Excel experts don't even know about, which is how to convert pivot tables to live formulas. So let's see what I mean. So when you have a pivot table like this, you cannot just, you know, cut and paste certain parts of it, you can't just insert a new row or a new column. It just doesn't work. It doesn't let you do that. You also get a lot of other restrictions. For example, the new chart types, like the waterfalls and the funnels, tells you you can't create this type of chart within a pivot table. You have the filter options grayed out and other things as well, and it's just not always very convenient. However, that can be swapped quite easily um, using this trick that not many people know about. So what you do is if you select your data, you go to insert and choose pivot table. Step one, very important, you have to take this button, add this to the data model. We're not going to talk about the data model in this video, I'm just going to show you why the data model is going to be your trick to convert it to formulas. So I'm going to do it in an existing worksheet over here. And now this is going to be a pivot table that has special powers. So if I go to actor, and then I put minutes here, you get sum of minutes. And I can, I'm going to copy and paste this to new pivot tables, just so we can compare them. So with this first one, I'm going to go to the analyze button and choose OLAP tools and choose this thing called convert to formulas does exactly what it says on the tin. It has converted these to cube value formulas and cube member formulas. You don't need to know what those are, just know that they are doing what you expect. Um, it is linked live to the pivot table as well, exactly the same way. So if I change this to an extreme amount like 460, if I click on this, I go to uh, data and I choose refresh all getting data, and there you go, it's updated it there, it's updated it the same way there. So it does link. What doesn't link though, is if you add a new name. So whereas a regular pivot table, if I refresh all, a regular pivot table would add new rows or new columns or change shape as needed. One of these, would not. So here I've got Chris Pratt between Chris Evans and Mark Ruffalo and this one I don't. So that's one thing that doesn't change but as long as you're happy that the shape of the pivot table is not going to change this convert to formulas thing is awesome. And like expected I can go to my data and filter. These are not grayed out. I can insert a funnel chart or absolutely any type of chart that I want and it won't stop me from doing that. And just to show you this pivot table I created without taking that box, and in the Analyze tab, OLAP Tools is actually grayed out. You cannot do it. You need to click on that, um, add to the data model to be able to select this convert to formulas. All right, that's the end of my video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.